Hi there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh hey, hi, how, how, hey, how, how's it going there, kids? Uh, good, good. That's that's really good to hear. Love that. Really good. Really, really good. Whew, is it is it hot in here? Man, I'm sweating like a crawfish in a crock pot. Did someone say crawfish? Uh, oh hey there, Sam. Uh, yeah, I did, but that was just an uh, expression. I don't have any to eat right now. Oh bummer. Oh well. So how you doing? Uh, okay. Um, can can I be honest with you for just a second? Of course. So, you know, I'm here at Disneyland, the coolest theme park in all the land. For sure. You love that place. Well, let's just say, hypothetically, I've been waiting all my life to ride on the biggest roller coaster. The biggest roller coaster in all the world, right here at Disneyland. And hypothetically, I've never been tall enough to ride it. But years after eating my vegetables and doing my stretches, I'm finally tall enough. No way. Hypothetically, I should be really excited, right? Like I should be psyched to go on and give it a ride, right? Um, yeah, totally. Yeah, see, that, that's, that, that's what I thought. But, um, <clears throat> you see, the thing is, I, I'm, 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 I'm not sacked. I'm, I'm actually quite the opposite of sacked. What? Why? I don't know. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment, but now that it's here, I don't know. I guess I'm just a, a bit nervous and um, scared. Oh, Carl, I'm so sorry, man. That stinks. I know it. <sighs> I guess it... It wasn't meant to be. Whoa, whoa, don't leave. Where are you going? Home. I figured there wasn't any point in staying if, not, if I'm uh, not going to do it. Well, let's not rush the decisions right now, okay? Now, can I ask you a question? Uh, man, I guess. Do you know how old Jesus was when he started his ministry? Uh, well, he was teaching us people in the temple when he was 12 years old, so I'm going to guess uh, 16? Nope. He was actually 30. 30? Are you serious? That's a lot later than I thought. Right? That's what I thought you would say. But I wanted to ask you that because I think it's important for you to know something. What's that? God makes us ready at the right time. What does that mean? Ready at the right time for what? Well, if you look at the life of Jesus, it's very interesting. Because when Jesus began his ministry, people started to follow him. Like one time when Jesus was by the water and two brothers, Peter and Andrew, were fishing. Jesus stopped and looked at them and said, come follow me. And he said, I will send you out to fish for people. What does that mean? Jesus was telling them that if they chose to follow him right then and there, that he would teach them how to love others and teach them about God. Huh. So what did they say? Nothing. Nothing? They said nothing to Jesus? Wow. They said nothing, but they dropped their fishing nets and they began to follow Jesus. Whoa. Wasn't that like their job? They just left their job without like any warning and just like decided to fall a complete stranger? Well, this wasn't just any stranger. This was Jesus. And not too long after this, Jesus ran into two other brothers named James and John. And when he called out to them, they also immediately followed Jesus. Are you serious? Huh. They must have really trusted Jesus. They did. Even though it was the beginning of his ministry, Jesus showed them that following him was the best choice they could make for their life. And the coolest thing is this. Everything in their life has led up to this moment. Wait, weren't they ready to become fishermen like their whole lives? Yes, they were. But instead of doing the thing that would make sense to the rest of the world, they chose to follow the plans God had for them. And they were willing to drop everything to do it because they were ready for it. Seems like those guys were waiting on Jesus. Kind of like I've been waiting to get on this roller coaster my entire life. But do you think it was scary for them to follow Jesus and leave their old lives behind? I'm sure it was. They were probably nervous if they were going to be safe and if their friends and family would understand. But that's what makes following Jesus so great. He takes our fears and worries and makes us ready. God makes us ready? Yup. Ready for what? Well, anything really. You see, God is aware of everything that's happening to you. So that means that God will make sure that you're ready for whatever you're going to face in life. God will make sure that you're ready in the right time. 
So that means that even if you can't face the roller coaster right now, it doesn't mean you won't be ready an hour from now or even a week from now. We just have to trust that God will make us ready, just like the disciples when they started to follow Jesus. Wow, I guess you're right, Sam. No matter what life throws my way, I know God will make me ready for whatever it is. And you know what? I think I'm ready for that ride. So here I go. In 10 minutes. Whoa, how awesome was it to see Carl talk about his fears and choose to overcome them by trusting God. That's so important for him and I'm sure you will do the same thing. Now, our big idea today is God makes us ready at the right time. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God makes us ready at the right time. Yeah, great job kids. Now tune in next week because I heard it's Carl's last day at Disney World. I'll see you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of...